Video 32, Subtracting Fractions. Alright, subtracting fractions, very similar to adding fractions, obviously actually it's the inverse of adding fractions, but a very similar method. So here we have four fifths and we're taking away three fifths. Now again, if we have a common denominator, this is very, very simple because here's my four fifths. Let me colour my four fifths in. One, two, three, four, my starting fraction. And then I'm taking three of those fifths away. So one, two, three. It leaves me with one fifth. Right, now, similarly with adding fractions, uh, when we have two different denominators, we need to find a common denominator. So, let's do that. First of all, we're looking at eight and four. Probably easier to turn this four uh, into an eight. So we have a common denominator here. So we're gonna stick with eight. So here, straight away, I can keep the same thing. So seven eighths is staying the same. Take away, but here, to get from four to eight, again, I need to multiply that by two, which means I have to do exactly the same thing for the, uh, the numerator. So two times two equals four. And then, once we've done that, it's a simple case of thinking the eights are going to stay the same, so the denominator will never change. And then I have seven eights. I'm taking four of those seven eights away. I'm left with three eights. Right, it's your turn. So here we have uh, two questions. First one, five six, take away one third. And then moving over here, this is actually another level up. Do you know what? I'm going to put another star on the board. I think this is a three star question. So we have one and one fifth. Take away two eighths. Now just to give you a bit of a clue, I would suggest that you turn this into an improper fraction first and then you'll be able to work it out from there. Pause the video now, have a go, and we'll go through them in a bit. Right, so first of all, five, uh, five six, take away one third, and we need to convert. So let's convert, I think, our third, we're thinking of common multiples, and six is a common multiple of three and six. So it makes sense to do the easiest changeover. First of all, five, six can stay the same, but then we have to multiply three by two to get to six. So we're gonna to have to multiply one by two, which is going to be two, six, and then five, six, take away two, six, which equals three, Sixths. Now, if we wanted to take it that little step further, I could simplify that fraction to one half, which we know is an equivalent fraction in its simplest form. All right, now over to our three star question. We had one and one fifth take away two eighths. And as I said before, hopefully you will be converting this into a, an improper fraction first. So let's have a look at that. We know that one whole and one fifth, that means that's five fifths and one fifth. So I can turn that into six fifths. Nearly. Right, I'm just going to put a line through that so I know I've turned that into six fifths. And now, actually, I could write that out again. So now I've got six fifths take away two eighths. But again, then I've got to sort out my common denominators. So here, common multiple for five and eight, thinking of my five times table and my eight times table, I'd say 40 is probably my best bet. So, to get from five to 40, I'm gonna to have to times by eight, which means I've got to times six by eight, which is 48. And then eight into 40, I've got to times by five, which means I have to times two by five, which is 10. And then now we have the simple method of 48 eighths take away, sorry, 48 fortieths take away 10 fortieths is going to leave me with 
38 fortieths. Okay. And again, I could simplify that if I wished. I could simplify that to uh, 15, 19 twentieths by dividing both of these by two. Alright, moving on to our number mind map and we're going to add our subtracting fractions just above our addition fractions here. So, subtracting fractions when it's simple when we have a, um, a, simil a similar denominator uh, and again I could write that the same way as Mrs. Williams did. And then if we ha need to find a common denominator, if we have a mixed one. Uh, so for example, four fifths take away two fifths equals two fifths. Now, I have some linking to do. I can use my fraction information, so I'm going to create a little link off there to come from my fractions. I can also need to link my multiples to this, and actually my addition multiples need to link to that as well, so I'm going to follow this line here, and then I'm just going to come off there as well, and then I need to come up to my subtraction, so I've got to come all the way up here, up through the top, keep going, and then cut through this line to subtraction. Finally, I have an inverse, I haven't had one of these for a while, because Adding fractions is the inverse to subtracting fractions.